Welcome back to this week's episode of Mystery Garage. Uh, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. We're only a couple days away for some uh, awesome family time. I thought since we've been doing some uh, less than exciting stuff in the car lately, I thought we'd add a little bit of excitement. Um, it is the season of opening gifts and boxes and presents. So right over there, I got some new ones for us to go through today. Uh, some exciting stuff in there, so let's get to it. So in last week's episode, we undercoated the underneath of the car. Um, you know, like I said, this isn't the most exciting stuff, but it is steps you need to do to make sure the, uh, you've thought through the project, longevity is built into, you know, kind of the build you have and what you're intending to achieve with the build. So um, definitely a part we had to get done. Um, I will at some point, like I mentioned last episode, do the uh, inner rear guards to make sure those are all done. Um, it's just a step I'll do off camera. Um, and. Kind of with the way the project's going, I'm really happy with it. We're moving along. We're getting to a point where we need to start thinking about the powertrain and starting to actually build the powertrain. Uh, we did a couple episodes of the teardown and discussion about all that sort of stuff. And I did place an order and some of those things have arrived, uh, if not all of them. So we're going to go through the boxes. The top box there is engine parts. The bottom box is a little bit of a secret. Something I ordered a long time ago, uh, definitely part of this whole build. And if you're a Volkswagen guy through and through, you'll fully understand where I'm going with that one. Um, so let's, uh, let's not wait any longer. Let's go clear off some table space here and we will get to opening some boxes. So I think what we'll do is we'll rip into this box first since we know kind of what's in there. Uh, I'll break it all open and we'll start talking about what we got. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I uh, generally build cars on a budget, and I have to admit, this is probably one of the biggest single parts hauls uh, I've ever put together. And you know, before I show you all this stuff, uh, I'm not in any way sponsored by Tectonic Tuning, but they worked with me to build this setup that I got, and man, were they ever helpful. So if any of you guys ever need uh, parts or want to do something similar to an engine build like this, highly, highly, highly recommend. Uh, tectonic tuning they're lo located in uh, in Oregon uh, United States but man did they you know they worked with me um, you know back and forth over the phone to build everything I needed to build this clone ABF um, you know they helped me put together custom gaskets set exactly for my needs um, we made sure we got everything I had so I didn't have to do multiple orders or place multiple orders everything more or less came in one uh, more or less build kit that I put together and uh, really really thankful for their help so uh, I'm just going to say that, like I said before, I'm not in any way sponsored by them, but I highly, highly recommend them. I've used them in the past for a few things, but this was definitely the most comprehensive uh, order kit I ever put together, and they did a phenomenal job helping me out. So let's take a look at what I got. So I didn't know how else to lay it out other than just kind of throw it all on the counter here, and we'll go through each item and talk about it. Um, let's start with the gaskets because they're more of the boring stuff, um, but I got everything specific for an ABF clone. So uh, when we go through some of these parts, I'll show you exactly what I got and why I chose that particular piece, but we'll kind of move through it and talk about each item. So 
Uh, head gasket. Um, head gasket, if you need to know what I got, there's the part number for it. Um, this is the head gasket you're gonna wanna wa you're gonna want. It's multi-layer. Um, if you're putting together a two liter ABA uh, with a uh, 16 valve head on it, um, that's the head gasket you're gonna wanna go with. Uh, um, oil pan gasket, that's simple, a valve cover gasket. Um, the reason why we put together a custom kit built for my needs was there's quite a few gaskets that if you either buy a two liter 9A gasket kit or an ABA gasket kit, you get a lot of gaskets you either don't need or ones that I'm not gonna use. So we specifically built this kit for an ABF clone with carburetor. So we deleted a lot of the other intake gaskets I don't need, uh, upper gaskets, that sort of thing, throttle body gaskets, we got rid of all of those. <clears throat> We ended up assembling, you know, a seal gasket kit. And again, some of this stuff is, I wouldn't say unnecessary, but some of the things I may not end up needing, but I'm gonna keep them in my part supply so I have them, because they may be redundant. I may have uh, some of them on the engine already that I don't intend on uh, opening up, because I'm not gonna completely tear down the ABA. Uh, we'll just see how far I go with it. Um, simple things like anytime you're removing uh, exhaust manifolds, you always wanna restud uh, these copper Knots are something that you always want to replace when you're doing it. Uh, gaskets for the exhaust, and I'm going to rerunning a header, so um, building this setup is going to be pretty simple. What do we got here? I didn't open this up yet, but uh, one second. Oh, uh, an oil seal. Um, so there you go. Uh, also picked up a ring compressor. Um, this is from Wiseco. Um, not necessarily needed, but there's a part number in case you want to do it. Uh, stock bore um, is 82.5, so we're going to be doing 82.5 mil um, stock bore compression of the <clears throat> of the uh, piston rings. So we have here more oil seals. Again, uh, got a refreshed uh, belt tensioner idler. Um, also got a race uh, 71 degree uh, thermostat to ensure that we're running at the proper temp temps with this build. Uh, in the box here, I decided to splurge on a new oil pump. Um, I could have possibly used the old one, but because it had sat around and I wasn't really sure, and I did see a little bit of specs of stuff inside of the uh, two liter oil pump from the 9A, I just wanted to make sure I was accurate. So I ordered a new pump, but I am gonna be using the oil pickup that I have, as well as the top gear and, and all the little necessary parts, bolts and sort of things to get from the 9A block that I already took out. We're just gonna replace the actual oil pump itself, so there's no risk there. Uh, moving on, I got the ABA breather kit that uh, Tectonic Tuning offers. So it's a breather block off, as well as um, there's that uh, freeze plug I talked about that, that you basically bolt this on and put this in and it turns the um, breather to a uh, NPT fitting to allow you to use AN to make your own vent. Um, so we'll be doing that. Clean to help, helps clean up the block significantly. I had some concern if you watched uh, way back in a few episodes uh, when I was taking apart the 16 valve, I had some concerns about the distributor on there. So I ordered a uh, fully rebuilt distributor for 16 valves. This is all brand new guts, brand new seals brand new rotor cap, all that sort of thing. Uh, everything's completely remanned. So this is um, kind of hard to come by these days. So uh, my other one had broken tabs on it. So all in all, it was a great idea to just go with a remand unit. Um, obviously necessity is building somewhat of a high compression race motor. Went with the APR um, bolt stud kit. Um, again, head bolts. Um, there's the order code I ordered. Um, with the undercut on them, we're going to be using those obviously to keep the because the compression actually with the pistons I ordered, which I'll show you in just a second, is actually going to work out to 11.8 to one. Pretty high compression motor, so you want to make sure uh, you keep everything nice and tight. Uh, have no head gasket issues in the future of expansion. Also ran with Tectonic Tuning. Uh, you can see right there, ABF 16 valve uh, spark plug kit. Um, this is kind of their their high performance wire kit. Really awesome product. I thought I would kind of go the extra mile and make sure um, since I'm going to the fresh distributor, go with some fresh wires. Um, they are a thicker uh, wire, so I'm pretty excited about that. If you guys are interested in the part number, there you go. All right, moving on. Um, 
I got uh, obviously a brand new water pump. You want to make sure you're going through the details of just doing the right things for the right parts. So we had a great conversation on the phone. He actually threw in some swag for me, so thanks very much. Told him about what we were trying to achieve with this channel. They were super excited to help out. Uh, the best part of this entire uh, order I put through was this portion. Uh, picked up some Super Tech uh, ABF pistons. These are forged pistons uh, for an ABF. I don't know if it says on there, you can see, went with the stock bore, uh, the size 16 valve ABF pistons. These are uh, the 11.8 uh, to one um, forged piston kit. I'll show you the part number for the whole kit. Um, it also came with with a ring kit, so that's what these boxes are here. These are fresh piston rings for this whole setup. Um, now again, this whole setup uh, is everything I needed, minus the carburetors, to build this engine outright. So in the next episode or two, um, I actually got some exciting stuff coming up for next episode, but uh, maybe the episode after that, we'll actually build this entire motor um, in more or less one episode. So uh, definitely something you guys want to look forward to. I want to thank again uh, Tectonic Tuning for helping me out with this awesome kit uh, that we put together. Uh, everything I'm going to need to do it all at once. I am prepared and ready to build the motor in pretty much one episode. So I'm pretty excited about that. So uh, if you guys have any questions about the parts you see, um, rather than direct them to me, I would highly recommend you just get in contact with Tectonic Tuning. They'll help you out. Um, did I need to buy everything here? Nah, no, not necessarily, but I wanted to build this motor correctly. I want to build it once. So I want to do it right. Um, so I kind of went the extra mile to make sure I had everything I needed and everything was going to be more or less a full rebuild. Uh, only thing I didn't get because I don't intend on changing too much is the uh, main bearings and all that sort of stuff. I'm going to leave the crank in the block, so I'm not going to mess with that. Um, we're just going to be taking out the connecting rods really quick to slap on the new pistons and then slipping them back in with fresh rings. Um, the bores look really clean, so there's not really a need for me to do any of that. We will be throwing in a brand new oil pump uh, in the bo bottom part of the bottom end. So um, essentially everything's going to be super freshened up, uh, minus the machine work of uh, doing any crank, crank work and that sort of stuff. So uh, over here, we still have some more boxes to go through. This is completely unrelated to that. And um, a while back, I would almost say in the summertime now, I was uh, working with my buddy uh, who owns Rare Spec Wheels. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. Awesome guy, if you guys are looking for wheels. Um, you know, I kind of let it cat out of the bag with this one, but if, if you're a Volkswagen guy just like me, uh, something about what we do, we have an affinity for collecting wheels. Um, so this is a set of wheels um, rare spec wheels ordered for me directly from Japan. It is a used set, but they are uh, in very, very great, good shape. I actually haven't opened up and seen them for myself. I've only seen them in pictures though so far. So I hope they are as good as they looked in the pictures, but um, Alex helped me source them. He helped me find the wheels I was looking for. I kind of told him kind of the exact wheels I was going for. Um, you know, I do have the BBS you can see underneath here, but we've got a couple project cars, so we need to be thinking ahead but what kind of wheels we want to have. You also want to have a pretty cool wheel collection. So these wheels uh, are actually built for a Porsche. So the bolt pattern is a Porsche pattern. Um, you know, if you guys just start, you know, figuring it out when you're working with wheels, we got a BMW bolt pattern set of wheels. We have a um, uh, five by 114.3 uh, bolt pattern set of wheels, which is mostly uh, Japanese stuff as well as we just got a Porsche set. So you end up adapting all kinds of wheels and, and bolt patterns and that sort of stuff. I haven't mentioned what kind of wheels these are, but they were for a Porsche. They are three piece splits. Um, you know, I tend to only buy or, or play with uh, true wheels. Um, I was getting some grief about making fun of the uh, Audi wheels I have on the truck, but again, those are fake splits, uh, not something I wanna run. If you wanna run genuine wheels, highly recommend you get in contact with Rare Spec Wheels. Again, not a sponsor, but he's a really close friend. Um, so he'll help you out with your needs. If you want to rebuild, if you want to relip, you want to do any of that sort of stuff, he's the guy you want to talk to. Um, again, I'll throw a link in the description just so you guys can get in contact with him. Let's get into these wheels. Oh, baby. Ooh-wee.
here we are. They are uh, Southern Ways Epsilon Glides um, in a uh, five by 130 bolt pattern. So again, that's the Porsche bolt pattern. Uh, the exact sizing, these are 15 inch. Um, they're actually by six right now. Um, whether I decide to keep them that way or not, they are pretty thin for me. We might throw some bigger uh, big boy lips on them, but um, rear spec wheels ended up finding me. You know, I told them what I was looking for. They ended up sourcing these out of Japan. Uh, they are still completely factory, super clean. You can see the splits have never been split before. Um, they're about as mint as you can get. They came with all the center caps and that sort of thing, which again is, is a hard to find uh, deal with these wheels. They are pretty clean in this setup, um, but all in all, we'll probably end up changing them down the road. I don't know if we're gonna do a color change. I can imagine I probably will. Um, but these wheels look killer on um, Mark I stuff. So I think what I'm gonna end up doing too at some point is I'll get some short caps. I'm not a big fan of how, how long these caps are, but um, they are the original caps. So having a set of them uh, is, is worth the weight in gold. But uh, at the end of the day, I think we'll end up finding some short caps for these wheels to really bring them through. But awesome set of wheels. Uh, really love them. Super clean too. I'll show you the back side real quick. Um, all still factory deckling, um, sizing, that sort of thing. Everything's, you know, like most wheels, uh, stamped in the back for the size they came from the factory. Um, but really excited about this. The nice thing about um, Porsche wheels generally is the offset. Uh, the, on these wheels is 22, but the offset generally allows um, you to run adapters without getting uh, into trouble with Mark 1. So you end up getting some good um, fender clearance and that sort of thing. So if you guys are looking for wheels, highly recommend. You send me some swag as well. Uh, highly recommend you guys check out uh, Rare Spec Wheels. Again, I'll put the link in the description. Um, he'll end up finding what you're looking for. Again, he does fully build out wheels as well. Um, you'll see in a future episode uh, where we put these wheels together, but uh, polishing, painting, powder coating, um, getting you uh, lips to spec that you need, bolts, sets, everything. Um, he's the man when you're looking for that sort of stuff. Uh, so if you're looking for some custom wheels or some rarer wheels, definitely give him a call um, or hit him up on Instagram, uh, which is the link I'll put, and he'll help you find what you're looking for. All right, we got some awesome wheels here again. Um, Tis the season, you know, of gift opening and that sort of thing. So I figured we'd start off with giving some gifts to, to Project Stepchild here. And again, I couldn't be any more excited about getting this motor built. Um, having these parts on hand is really hard for me right now not to just go dive into the project. Um, with everything set aside from the parts I have in the bin below and the block and everything that we put together, uh, throw in the parts right here from Tectonic Tuning and we got ourselves a motor. So coming episodes, we'll knock out the whole motor build for the most part in one episode. But uh, between now and then, I got a really fun video coming for you guys. Um, I wanna wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. I hope you have some great time spent with family. Between the week, uh, week of Christmas and New Year's, I'm gonna head up an episode that's a lot of fun. Good way to sign out 2020. So look forward to that. But until then guys, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. See you next time. Take care.